spacing out and being disciplined with that. Jackson, what went into the decision? You probably could have jumped to the draft if you wanted to. Just what went into the decision you want to come back? You know, last year it wasn't, I mean, it was such a unique, like, weird year. I really, like, you know, the college experience is important to me. You know, that was just a bit of a taste, you know, with, with Coach Lake and the new offense and all that. I mean, and I, you know, I love my guys, love my unit. So, I mean, you know, coming back was kind of a no-brainer to me. How much for Coach Lake have you been at left tackle now that she's been there for a while? Yeah, I'm still uh, settling in. Sometimes it's so weird. Like, it's funny, I can jump back into, like, a right guard stance and I'd still be right at home. But, you know, I'm definitely settling in more uh, as a spring. It wasn't like last fall where everything was completely completely new to me. So, you know, this spring, it, you know, I'm settling in each day. I feel more comfortable there. Do you got all the guys back? Uh, it's kind of unusual. Usually there's some turnover on the starting on the offensive line. Right. Is that good or bad? I mean, you know, there's might not be as much competition, or maybe there is, I'm not sure. No, it's great. I mean, I feel like there's always still competition, you know, because, you know, if the ones are playing great, that's going to inspire the twos to play well, and vice versa. Like, you know, if we have a two or three group playing well, I mean, I, I watch that. I watch them run down the field like they did today, and I'm like, dang, like, I want to do that. So, you know, we're always kind of motivating each other. And, you know, I think, you know, it's the best case scenario when you have all five guys returning, especially at the level we were playing last year. You mentioned having to make sure you're spread out still, but is it starting to feel a little more normal out there to be out there in spring and have some people around? Yeah, well, definitely the fans. I mean, seeing people, you know, practicing at an empty stadium last year was, I mean, it was like a surreal experience. I mean, you could feel like a pen drop. So having all those, like, fans in the stands, I mean, it seems like it's been so long. But, you know, it's great. It's, you know, the sense of coming back to normal. So, what, Was the energy different today, or there was a real chippiness at times between offense and defense? Did it feel different today with the fans? And oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like when we have the fans, I always want to put on a show, you know? And, you know, you kind of, you kind of got it. I mean, especially since we haven't had fans like that this, this past, like, year and a half or whatever. I mean, for sure, we were fired up. And, you know, the first day of pads, too, and we have fans. I mean, that's like the perfect storm, honestly. What do you think the younger tackle specifically, Troy and uh, Roger? Yeah, I think they're coming along nicely. You know, they're, they're grinders. They're always in asking me questions and stuff. And, you know, and I learned from them and I watch them on certain te techniques, too. But, you know, certainly Roger, I mean, I think he's more advanced than I was at his age. I mean, he's only, I mean, was he going to be a freshman this year? So, I mean, I think, you know, he's like so advanced and coming along nicely. With not having spring last year, what are the biggest things you guys get out of this period? What did you kind of miss from not having it? Yeah, and I think, you know, spring ball is great for everyone. I mean, I think specifically the young guys, too, because, you know, we're like, we have four deep, like, groups on the O line. So, getting all those guys reps, I mean, that's what spring ball is all about. And for us too, you know, you can, you know, it's not like we're preparing for any like big games or anything. So I can go out there each day and kind of try new things. And like, you know, if we can get a good start here in spring, we can hit summer and then by fall, I mean, the offense and whole group we'd be ready to go. Just having that continuity with the five, the starting group back, uh, the offensive line. How how good does that feel to know everyone around you just to have to build up that you know that experience yeah. that throughout that season? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, I feel like, you know, five we have right now, I feel like we've been through it all, you know. So, I mean, sometimes it feels as if nothing's new to us, you know. I mean, we're all just kind of, we know each other's strengths, weaknesses, what we need to work on, and I think we're all locked in on the calls together, you know. It's really confident knowing that if you can trust the guy next to you, you know, he's going to get the job done. How did you feel like you guys played on the line last year in the four games that you had? You know, for four games, since it was such a, like, whole taste, I mean, I thought we did well considering, I mean, we were filling three new spots. I mean, and those guys, MJ, Vic, and Andrew Vineblue, I mean, they stepped up. You know, I was, you know, I was really pleased with how we played. I mean, we can, we always need to improve them. You know, I think there's a lot of things we can improve on. But, you know, I think we did great in those first four, and I think we just built off what we did last year. I think great things ahead for the whole line. Good. All right, we'll have uh, Trent come up next. And Thanks, guys. As well.